Good afternoon. A couple of months ago, we went bioluminescent kayaking with a company called BK Adventures and our friends Brian and Kylie from Amazing Animals. Brian and Kylie contacted me recently and said, hey, BK Adventures has another adventure for us. So, tonight, we're going on another adventure. So let's go. We're heading out to the coast. All right, here we are. We're heading across the bridge right now. This is the Indian River that we're going over top of. And you can see the VAB across the waterway there. That is the Vehicle Assembly Building and NASA. So we're real close to where they've been launching the rockets recently. So here we are on the Indian River. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get on the jet skis and we're gonna kinda go from island to island. The only problem right now is there's a storm right there. Hopefully it stays away from us. You never know, we'll see as we go. Play it by ear. Here we go, this is the company that we are getting the jet skis through. So this is Rom right here. He is just setting up the jet skis right now for us. There they are. These are cool looking. I haven't been on like a newer jet ski like this. All my jet skis were old. They didn't look anything like this. Doing it. So we're heading out to an island straight out here called Horseshoe Crab Island. Once we get out there, hopefully we'll see some horseshoe crabs. We'll see. Let's keep going. Brian and Rom and Kylie. Brian and Kylie are from Amazing Animals. Rom is from BK Adventures. These are his jet skis. And we're on an island now, like a little island. We're gonna go do some exploring. It's perfect, let's go. Rom was just saying that this is one of the islands that the locals like to come and spend the night on. We can actually hear somebody having a radio over there. There's another family over here that's doing some fishing off of it. And he said that it's a really good spot to watch the rocket launches because they are just right over the horizon there. There's just some mullet just jumping right there. Hopefully this storm stays away. We can see NASA right around the corner here. And there's there's a dog here. That's that's <laughs> some people on the island have a dog. And it was just sniffing at me. Uh yeah, so like NASA is just right over the horizon there. So you can come here and watch a rocket launch. That'd be really neat. Oh yeah, you can see either 39A or 39B on the horizon there. Yeah, right there. So I came out into the water a little bit and you can actually see the VAB yeah, on the horizon right there. Yeah, we are really close to the Kennedy Space Center here. This water is so warm and nice. Wow. Almost see my feet through it. Every once in a while, a mullet jumps. Let's see if we can catch one jumping. No, can't see anything. But if there wasn't a storm, we would have a really good sunset from here too. So the, on this island, you could see both the sunrise and the sunset. So you would see the sunset in this direction and the sunrise would just be straight over there. So the island that we're on right now is called Horseshoe Crab Island and shaped like a horseshoe crab. And now we're headed over to that little grouping of, I guess you would call it an island. It's called Catfish Island. We came down to the beach and we thought, uh-oh, the jet skis are gone. It turns out that we were one beach over. They're, they're just, just on the other side of the trees there. What can we do with PK Adventures and jet skis? So guys, this is a very new tour we developed. It's a jet ski tour, it's called the Island Hopping Tour. And the BK Adventure has a lots of different other activities as well. The clear kayak, the kayaking, rafting, standard paddle boat. This is very new, it's one of the best and everybody love it. So what we do in the island, the island let people swim and they can play around in the water, they can see, they can just go around the dolphin. They're close to the nature and they can see everything from so close view. And the BK Adventure is, and the Outdoor Adventure Company is known in Central Florida. Turn it around, let you guys see in front of us because we're 
On the next island, Catfish Island, this is a really tiny island, and I think my favorite thing about it is that there's just there's just a grill out here on this island. I wonder if this is like a communal grill, or if somebody specifically left this out here for themselves. Huh. Just a, just a grill. This is a real small island, but it's very cool. I could take a nap out here. Speaking of spots to watch the rocket launch from, this is perfect. Look at that. You can see the VIB, you can see both launch pads. Wow. This would be awesome. I think the thing that I'm most curious about is the fact that we're on an island right now and somebody left uh, like an apple core here and there's just ants on it. How did these ants get on this island? So a little bit of information. This is the Indian River and this is brackish water. So it makes between fresh and salt water. And so here we've got mangroves. This mangrove looks like it's seen better days. You can see all of the little root system popping up throughout here for the mangroves. Also, look at this palm tree. Oh, there goes a mullet. I think, oh, there's another one. Ooh, what are they jumping for? Something's chasing them out there for sure. Oh man, look at all the barnacles on these pieces of wood here. Wow. Whoa. That's a root ball from a palm tree. It looks intense. Oh, look, and somebody's carved a face in it. Huh. Wow. All of these palm trees that have just fallen over from who knows what, maybe hurricanes? Also, these palm trees may have just washed here because you can see the entire root ball. So maybe these blew over somewhere else and we're just floating down the river and ended up here. What an interesting phenomenon. I keep seeing little animals crawl across these or like hide underneath them. Most likely crabs, like little tiny crabs. This is bizarre, isn't it? What are they? Are they just little bugs? No, they're little tiny crabs. Wow. Right? No, they're like little bugs. Huh. I wonder what kind of bugs those are. So one of the things that we're on the lookout for right now is horseshoe crabs. And there's a couple of horseshoe crab shells here that these horseshoe crabs are no longer alive, but there's a shoe over there. Speaking of horseshoe crabs, we found one here. So horseshoe crabs are really cool. Some scientists, they're prehistoric. They're from the time of the dinosaurs. And some scientists actually believe that they're in the arachnid family. And that's because they have eight legs. But other scientists don't think that they're part of the arachnid family. And what's really cool about horseshoe crabs, they actually have eight eyes. Eight eyes all over their body. They have eye spots. And they actually have blue blood. They bleed blue. And that's because they have copper in their blood and they're actually used in a ton of medical research. Um, they're super important for human's health. A lot of diabetes medicine is used with copper-based blood from the horseshoe crab. So these guys are super important for humans because their blood is the key to saving a lot of lives. So there he goes, he's heading back out into the water and we know that that's a male because it is a lot smaller than the females. So like these shells would be from a female horseshoe crab. So we came out to the head of the island to show you why it's called Catfish Island. See if you can tell from the shape why it's called Catfish Island. That's right, it's shaped like a catfish. Also all these dragonflies that are out here, these dragonflies eat mosquitoes, so it's good to have them around. Ooh, there's a storm coming. We're just gonna stay out as long as we can, I think. Yeah, hopefully it stays inland. There is an onshore breeze that might keep it away from us. 
So these are black mangroves, and mangroves are super important. They're a habitat for many shorebirds, and they actually are the only tree that can grow inside of brackish water. They absorb more carbon dioxide from the air than the rainforests do, and their roots clean the soil. They clean the sediment in here, so they're super important. They also slow down the storm surge from hurricanes. So Floridians, we depend on our mangroves, animals depend on our mangroves, and everything on the planet depends on our mangroves. That's how important these type of plants are. So the storm is getting worse and worse. Yeah. <laughs> Funny <laughs> thing though is that the storm, after looking at the radar, even though it looks like it's really close to us, it's still over inland a good 30, 40 miles away from us. But look at this. You can actually see the onshore wind kind of like creating this ripple effect in the clouds. So what we're gonna do is instead, originally we were gonna head that way to another island, but I think what we're gonna do now is head in this direction, where the weather's not as bad, to another island over there. Man, this storm looks amazing. Look at that. Yeah, like, look at this. If I just pointed the camera this way, you would have no idea that there was a gigantic storm getting ready to come over any moment now. <laughs> All right, we are on our way to the next island, trying to avoid this. can hear me over this wind. It's so windy. Getting ready to start pouring on us though. Here it comes. All right, so now we are headed back to shore to try to avoid the rain. There's big waves out here. and he said that there was a light over here. I don't see any lights. But I wanted to give you guys a 360 look. The storm definitely came over top of us. There's the rain over there. So as you guys saw, we actually got rained out at the end of the day, so we are headed home to finish up the video. So I am back home now, uh, completely drenched. I wish that we had more time out on the river, but it did get a little bit cut short because of the, the rainstorm. You guys saw the rainstorm, it was ridiculous. At the end of the day, finally got the jet skis back to the truck, and then I locked my keys in the car, 
and I was able to get it open and I lost my sunglasses. Thought I lost the GoPro, but then I found that it was just on the floorboards of the car. A wild night at the end of the night, but still a lot of fun. Got to see a horseshoe crab, we got to see some mullets jumping. Wish we had been able to see some, uh, some dolphins. Then also, if you remember back when we went bioluminescent kayaking, we were right in the same area where we did the kayaking. Hullover Canal, which is where we were during the kayaking, is just on the other side of one of the bridges, which we were going to head into before we decided to go to a different island because of the storm, and then everything got cut short because of the storm. But we still would have been able to see the bioluminescence on the jet skis, and we could actually go swimming at one of those islands in the bioluminescence. Amazing. Maybe we'll have to go back a different time to give it a try, but man, just thinking back on the bioluminescent trip, amazing. We'll put a link to that video in the description down below if you guys haven't seen it. Truly an amazing experience. So all in all, it was a really fun trip and we got to see some really interesting things, the palm trees and the horseshoe crab and the mullets and just getting on the jet skis was fun. Like jet skis are just fun in general. So just to give you guys an idea, the jet ski that we were on was going about 41, 42 miles an hour at its top speed. Really fast little jet ski and yeah, it was a blast. So thank you to BK Adventures. If you guys are in the area and you want to do some really fun outdoorsy type activities, check them out. We'll put a link to them in the description down below. And there you have it. An excellent day. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to help. And today's organization that we want to shine a spotlight on is our friend Brian and Kylie's organization, Amazing Animals. And here they are to tell you a little bit more about it. Hey guys, I'm Brian. And I'm Kylie. And we're from Amazing Animals Inc. We're a nonprofit exotic animal sanctuary right here in Central Florida, about 45 minutes from Disney. And we have over 100 animals that we care for. And we have sloths and capybaras. And you can come do a private tour of the sanctuary and get hands on with some of our animal ambassadors. And we have a YouTube channel. Please check us out Amazing Animals Inc. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun, so if you're in the area, definitely come check us out. We've got all sorts of animals. A lot of them were rescued, either expats or non-releasable wildlife. Um, and we work with other facilities too, so we love the support and we love hanging out with Tim. I know you love the capybaras. So. <laughs> yeah, Tim is an amazing sponsor of Amazing Animals. He helps us out with our capybaras and we love bringing Tim to places a little bit farther away from Disney and get Tim out in nature and seeing amazing parts of Florida and our wildlife that we have here. Please check our website out, amazinganimalsinc.org. On the website, you can donate to us. If you can't donate money, we love shares and likes and follow us on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. And all of that helps us out so much by spreading our message and our mission. And you guys also have an Amazon wish list, right? And we have an yeah. Amazon wish list. Yeah, we have the Amazon wish list. You can check that out. Um, so, so many things that help. And, you know, especially nowadays with the climate of everything, it's been great for the community support. So we appreciate Tim and Jen and all you guys. So share, like us, check us out, come visit, have some fun visiting amazing animals. And thank you guys for watching this video.